and welcome to the final hands-on hands-on time for osmosis so to do this again we need to open up the hands-on file this is located under lecture 11 hands-on exercise time please again read through this document so what we're going to do is we're going to create three scenarios a fossil fuel future scenario, least cost scenario, and net zero scenario. So, before we do this, this time round, we're going to approach it slightly differently. For our preparation, we go to Osmosis and Flex tool, and we're going to create three folders. So, folder one, we're going to call fossil fuel future. Folder two, we will call least cost and as it is stated on the hands-on our last scenario is a net zero scenario so this we're going to call net zero so let's start off with the fossil fuel future what we do is again copy the sand so this was from HO9 we come back on Tosmosis and flex tool fossil fuel future and we paste it over here then we open the document. As you can see, the instructions are again stated over here. And we're going to follow this instruction once, once the Excel file opens up. So once we enable content, what we need to do is go under the parameters and select total annual max capacity investment. So we select and unselect everything, scroll right down to the bottom until we find total annual max capacity investment. And we click on OK. Total annual max capacity investment opens up. Under the technologies, we need to select Power Hydro, Power Sol, Power Wind, and Power Geo. Power Hydro, Power Geo, Power Sol, and Power Wind. And we click on OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this value to zero. Control C, Control Shift right arrow, Control V. Okay, so this did not work. So let's do this row by row. Control C, Control right arrow, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control V, and Control V. So what we're saying is that there's no future investment made on hydropower plants, geothermal power plants, solar power plants, and wind power plants. So now we save this. And we can run this model to see what the future scenario of annual electricity production will look like if no future investment is made into any renewable technologies. And by renewable, we mean power and hydro, power geo, power sol, and power wind. We can close this. So that's the fossil fuel, fu fossil fuel future scenario. The least cost scenario is the standard osmosis scenario. So osmosis op itself is a cost optimization model. So no additional constraints are needed to add it to calculate the least cost scenario. So we can skip this. For net zero, we're going to follow the steps highlighted over here. So what we do is we're going to Osmosis and Flex tool, HO9, we copy the sand interface, go back, net zero, paste, and we open this.
once this opens up enable content so what we're going to do is we're going to try to see that from an environmental and economic persp perspective if we commit to reaching a net zero carbon dioxide emission by 2050 how this will look like so to do so we will use the parameter annual emission limit and we will set that to zero from 2050 until 2070 so what we do is go to parameters and we select annual emission limit well firstly we unselect everything then we select annual emission limit in column D we filter out for carbon dioxide so EMI CO2 Then what we do is we go to the right until we find 2050 and from here onwards we set CO2 to be equivalent to zero. So we press on zero and then we can hold it and just drag it up to the end. Now we control S. So after you do this, run the results, so run this model from the following steps, from the steps that we showed you previously and see whether you obtain the same results as over here. So you should get this graph. If you get a graph like this, then everything has been fine. So that's how you model those three scenarios. Thank you for watching this.